Hi guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at services and SVC host files, how they uh, run on your system and how malware uses those to hide itself and use those uh, on your system. We're also going to be taking a look at how we can delete them in the registry and uh, how to uh, get information about the SVC host files and services by using scripts and, and software. So first off, let's have a little look at the uh, task manager that's the most common one right click on the taskbar there and we've got task manager now normally this is di uh, disabled by malware so you wouldn't be able to use this in this method now process explorer is another great piece of kit but if you want to have a little look uh, from a windows point of view which is already built into windows you can actually use this here now you can see we've got the actual services here all listed we can actually see the uh, PID numbers here and we also got the descriptions of those services down here. It also has the status which is stopped and running and uh, we can actually see those there and also the groups. Now what group means is basically each PID or PID number which has a service in it will have a number of services in that ID number which are in a group and it would be in that group. Okay. So for argument's sake if you wanted to uh, have a look at this file here we can actually right click and stop this service from here we can also go into processes okay and we can also right click and go into properties we can also set the priority here uh, click uh, create a dump file end process and so on open the file in the location which will actually take us to that location where it is which is very useful and also as I said go to properties which will then give us all the information about that service okay gives us information here compatibility security and so on okay so that's the actual task manager uh, I did say about a program and there's a good program called SVC host viewer because I like uh, these types of programs very useful and the guy who created this um, I'll put the link in the description has done an excellent job on this little application here um, as you can see he's put the SVC.exe files into groups and you've got the PID numbers 624 and so on and so on all the way down here at the bottom here you can see where it says you have 11 SVC host files running and a total of 47 services okay now I get a lot of emails from people saying I've got a load of service a load of SVC host files running what are they doing well this type of program is going to actually be able to tell you what they are and what they're doing so if you actually click on these you can actually get a nice description of what it actually means and what it's actually doing okay and it also tells you the name there and it also gives you the the ID number here and also the size of the file and uh, what amount of data has been written to it and how much data it's reading okay so if you look at here we can see that there's a uh, higher uh, amounts of data written to it and and also and it's reading 1.26 megabytes and you can actually get the name here so it gives you a nice description so that's that program there we can actually stop the service from there as well but um, pretty much I'll, you just have to start the controller and then stop um, so let's have a look at a script that we can use uh, it's called get service and there's a little application here but you want to use the bat file you'll need to put this in your C root directory click on this and run it and this will actually open up notepad and give you all lists of the services that are running now that's at about 40 odd there so as you can see there's probably around about 40 odd here so from there we can actually look at the service and find out what it is now we've got uh, the actually let's have a little look down here so we've actually got the display name which is the windows uh, audio end endpoint builder we've also got the service name which is the name of the service the type of it which it is the state uh, which is for running it's stoppable uh, non pausable and so on and so on ignores shutdowns we can also see uh, the PID number there and the description okay so the description will give us a little bit about it and what it is doing and what where it's where it is and stuff like that so we can actually read up on it and find out what that file is now if it's moody obviously then you can then do something about it so it's quite useful this script I do like it um, so let's have a little look at command prompt now we're going to go into CMD 
Now command prompt again is gives you all this information as well but it means you have to put a little bit more effort in, more work in. Okay, now we're going to be looking at task list all right, and that task list is determining the services that are running under SVC host.exe okay, and the process processes that's using in the task list. So we need to type in task list like so and then space forward slash SV, SVC put my false teeth in, there you go so we'll have a little look down here and you can see these uh, services here okay now what we want to do now is actually put them into groups you can see here they're actually in 732 you can actually see the actual group of them here okay so what I can do now is if I come down and t put task list like so and then forward slash SVC and then forward slash FI and then space and then image name like so and then EQ and then SVC host dot exe and then we'll push enter on that and now we've got them in groups as you can see here we can actually see uh, 732 we've got audio server DHCP and event log okay and we've also got a couple of other ones there so if I open up that program again you'll see all the effort that I've had to do to do just that and now we can actually see from this what I was on about so we'll come to 732 okay and if you look down at 732 here we can see that we've got audio server DHCP event log and so on and so on okay so all that typing and all that messing around and we could just use that and it tells us exactly that same thing okay and also it gives us a better description which is what we was on about and gives us a bit more information okay that's why I like this program so much okay so let's get into uh, something else here we're going to get into the registry and uh, we're going to type reg edit into the run bar there it would help if I actually typed it in there okay reg edit like so and we'll open that puppy up say yes to that and then now we're in here what we need to do is we're going to be checking services that are loaded up on startup okay by either using the SVC host.exe or by Windows directly launching the application okay now if a service is loaded up directly by Windows the application file named that launches that service can be found in image path value under this location which I'm going to take you to now so uh, if we go to system from there so you've got HC, H key local machine and then you want system and you want current control set okay and then we want uh, services and then from from there we need the service name okay now from there you can see this is the stuff that's loaded up at startup okay so if you wanted to uh, find a service f service that's in a group part of a group in a particular group then you'll need to go to this location here so we need to come back out of here and just come back out Okay, we need software and we also need Microsoft uh, I mean Microsoft and we need Windows NT where are we Windows NT and we need current control set and we need SVC host where's that okay there it is okay so these are the ones that are all in the group that we was seeing in that actual uh, command prompt window and stuff like that okay so this is actually in the registry right so what we need to do now is look in services so what we want to do now is come back here and then look inside services I'm getting lost here hold up a sec way back getting too many open right okay so we want system current control set and services and these are the ones as well that are in groups so we can actually get this from here as you can see image path 
Now, it would have probably been better if I'd have infected the machine and you'd have actually seen uh, trying to get a, some sort of service or SVC host uh, malware in there that we could actually have removed and that would have been a lot easier. So, okay, so what we're going to do now is show you uh, a place where we can actually, man uh, if you want to manually remove stuff, we, ne we can actually go to uh, HK local machine and we want to go to system, uh, system, and we want to do these current control set ones, okay? And uh, from there, we need to go services. And inside here, these are the ones we can remove manually if we wanted to, to stop those uh, booting up if we wanted to, okay? As you can see. So from here, don't just go deleting stuff in here if you think it's moody. Make sure you know what you're doing because if you delete stuff from here and it will not boot the system, it'll either crash or you'll get a corrupted registry and that you would have to start transferring that stuff back and also always back up your registry you can do that by exporting up the top here okay file export now also a place where malware hides itself it's normally in current we can get current control set one and two which are these two here and also e I call it enum but uh, it'll be in these ones here okay these are the ones where it is normally located as well okay okay so I think that'll be pretty much it for this video uh, if you enjoy these videos please remember uh, hit the subscribe button on my YouTube channel and uh, if you enjoy my videos get onto the forums the list uh, the, the actual website is down below there you can see and uh, join over there and also if you've got any problems with your computers head over to the forums post them up there and I'll do my best to help you any sort of video requests you've got either shoot me an email or a message on YouTube or come over to the forums and post up there I'd like to see this this and this and I'll do my best to help you okay if you want to come a moderator over on the uh, forum there by all means and post some stuff give me a shout and I'll give you some moderator status and you can actually start putting some tutorials up there and help out a little bit okay so thanks again guys thanks for your support over 6,000 sub uh, subscribers now so I'm real chuffed with that keep them coming thanks a lot bye for now